Hey you guys, so I know I don't usually do this kind of video, but here lately I've been exp experimenting quite a bit with my ties and things and I've noticed that a lot of people have been asking me for tutorials on my ties because you cannot find tutorials for them on YouTube. Uh, because I've recently become a tie junkie and so I just make up stuff each day and today I am wearing what I call the capsule knot and um, I named it the capsule knot because to me it reminded me of those little capsules that they keep the Pokemon on on Pokemon. I'm not a huge Pokemon fan. I'm not a Pokemon fan at all but it looked like that to me so that's why I named it that but um, I came up with this knot just this morning and um, a lot of people on Instagram have asked me about it and a lot of people in person have asked me about it and so um, I decided to go ahead and do this video while I can still remember how to do it and so I'm going to go ahead and take this tie down and then uh, go ahead and retie it for you so you can kind of see how it's done so let me adjust my camera real quick so you get just the tie and then we'll go ahead and take her down So. You can kind of see I've got that extra tail hidden under here. To me, a lot of times these things are more work to take back down than they are to put up in the first place. Alrighty. So when I did this morning, I had a lot more steps, but I figured out how to do it a bit easier. So this is my right side here. Here is my left side. I don't know how to be on camera. Um, basically, the right side, I've got my thick end of the tie here. And on my left side, I have the thin end of the tie. And I'm just going to take the end of my tie, and I'm going to place it right on my belly button. Um, the reason why is because I'm going to be pulling this end to adjust, and so it's going to get longer. Um, so, of course, you know, now keep in mind, if you have a thicker neck, my neck is typically about 15 and a half inches on my shirts, so I always have quite a bit left over on the tail of my ties. But if you have a thicker neck, you won't have to do quite as bit to hide it in the end. So you're just going to take your thick end here, you're going to take and pinch it off, just like that. You'll take your thin end and cross it over the thick end, bring it around through the middle just like that and then you're going to bring it back to the end you started on just like that there cross it around the back just like that and then you're going to bring it right around the front alright then you're going to take it back through that middle section on the top just like this here then we're going to bring it over on my right side, back behind, and around through the front. So right now it looks like this here. Now we're pretty close to the end, so I'm just going to gradually loosen this up a bit because now I'm going to take the same one. Now mind you, I took it in on this end, so now I'm going to bring it back to my right side. And I'm just going to take and slide my finger right in here. Pull the end of the tie through, and I'm going to slide my finger right in here and pull the end of the tie through there also. So now I've got that all together. Right now I know it looks a bit of a mess, but once you play with it a bit it will straighten out too. So I've got that there, and it creates just this capsule type look here. Now, of course, if you're wanting it more snug and all that, you can go ahead and uh, tighten it up a bit. I always like to have it a bit loose where it creates this almost teardrop effect around and it almost seems to kind of uh, reveal this other knot down on the inside. I just think it looks more intricate. Um, if you like it more snug, you can go ahead and pull it more snug. Now I'm just going to take and wrap this end around here just like that and we're just going to tuck it back here and bring it through. I'm going to pull my collar down and then if I need to adjust I just go ahead and pull that in there. So then I can take and bring it down as much as I want and adjust it just like that. So it's pretty easy. It stays all day. It's not a really complicated knot at all. 
Um, and this tie got so much attention today and it's really one of the more basic looking knots in my opinion. But um, a lot of people seem to like it. So let me know what you think of this video, if it was easy for you to follow. And um, I'll see if I can make some more for you in the future because um, a lot of people have been asking me about my ties. Until next time guys, take care. God bless. Bye.